Anna, yes. what's the latest on uh, on Leno versus Conan? Okay, first of all, both of them are uh, going on their own television shows, and they're both taking little stabs at one another, right? Mm -hmm. Leno's stabs are weak sauce, lame, and unfunny, right? But Conan's stabs are a little funny. I, I want to do both. I want to let the audience decide. Okay. Okay, so first, here's Jay. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> Everybody does a Jay accent. Everybody can do one, apparently, except me. All right, so here's Leno going after another guy a little bit. Let's watch. Uh, <laughs> critics of the war have stopped referring to it as another Vietnam. They're not calling it anymore. The bad news is they're now calling it another NBC. Yeah, that's what it's <laughs> Welcome, of course, to NBC, America's most dysfunctional TV family. <laughs> huh? Thank you very much. Well, nobody knows what's going on here. Conan O'Brien, understandably, very upset. He had a statement in the paper yesterday, and Conan said uh, NBC had only given him seven months to make his show work. When I heard that, seven months, how'd he get that deal? We only got four. <laughs> hey, who's his agent? Get me that guy. I'll take seven. <laughs> well, all the late night hosts are having a great fun with this debacle. Uh, last night, Jimmy Kimmel did a show dressed up as me. Show that clip. Here he is dressed up as me. My now. name is Jay Leno, and um, let it hereby be known that I'm taking over all the shows in late night. <laughs> Let's see what's coming up on our late local news. Rick Tanya? Thanks a lot, Jay. Coming up after the Jay Leno Show, an NFL player suffers his 17th concussion and is forced to become an NBC executive. We have all the details. Yeah, I mean, that, uh, I got to be honest. Uh, upon a second watching, that had schwang, wang, wang written all It did. Right from the start, everything, everything in there. You know, they're calling it uh, another Vietnam. They're calling it another NBC. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. It's yeah, not yeah. And, I, and you saw that joke coming from a mile away, and you almost wanted to stop it. Like, no, 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 don't, don't say NBC. Oh, you it's say. funny. You know, the headline here is about they're taking shots at each other, and, and the one joke they use in that is the reference that, you know, that he, how did he get that deal with seven months? I only got four. Uh -huh. That's not really a shot at, at, at coming up. I, I agree. Actually, I I actually agree. that's not a shot at all. And actually, that's the line I, I kind of like. I thought that's... Mm -hmm. That's at, least yeah. a, that's at least a joke. It, yeah, it's a little unfair to say that Leno's going after Conan, but Conan was just waiting for any little thing to go after Leno. Because what Leno's lying about, he's making the jokes about NBC, and I, and I don't mind Leno, right? It, it's just, he's getting a great deal here, okay? He's, instead of getting canceled and getting walked out the door, he's getting the Tonight Show back. He always wanted the Tonight Show back, so he's pretending that he's aggrieved when he's not at all aggrieved. No, he's not aggrieved at all, and... And what is incredibly false about Jay Leno, what was false when he got the, look, we're not, these aren't, we're not, uh, these aren't six-year-olds and everybody gets the equal amount of ice cream. And the person who doesn't get the equal amount gets to cry about it. Right. I mean, this is, this is, these are big boys. And no one, as Conan said in his brilliant statement, um, you know, no, don't, don't, don't shed a tear for me for crying out loud. Right. But I have been put in this awkward public situation, so I have to respond to it. Right. Um, so no one needs to hold anyone's hand. But what Leno cannot do, what is disingenuous, and which I think strikes me as disingenuous and inauthentic, and I think is striking pretty much universally everyone who pays attention to this as, is when he goes out there after this all happens and says, you know, I mean, I, you know, they, they're screwing me, they're screwing, Co they're screwing Conan, I mean, poor Conan. Like, Jay didn't sit there and this didn't happen to Jay. He made this happen. Yeah. He took Conan's job. Conan got the job, was promised it, did it for seven months. The ratings went down, in part because of Jay's show. Yeah. Um, and then, now, Jay is not obligated to let Conan keep that job. In no way. He right. can, what he needs to say is, yeah, look, this didn't work out for me, and these guys, I'd like that job back. It's not doing that well. I hate to push out a guy like Conan. He doesn't even need to say that much. He just needs to say, hey, we're all big boys. It's really competitive. My ratings were better, and I want this job back, and I can't wait to start broadcasting at 1130 to America, and guess what? Conan will be fine. But acting like you care about Conan, acting like he cared about Dave in 1993, that was what the, you know, when you read The Late Shift, Jay is a skeever. He's a schemer, and then he's like, oh, no, I'm every man. I'm George Bush. Everybody loves me. Have an O'Doul's. I'm great. Yeah, and that's what gets on everybody's yeah. nerves. Yeah. So now let's go to Conan going after Jay Leno a little bit, and he did go after him a little bit here, so let's watch. I'm trying very hard to stay positive here, and I want to tell you something. This is honest. Hosting The Tonight Show has been the fulfillment of a lifelong dream for me, and I just want to say to the kids out there watching, you can do anything you want in life. Yeah. Yeah, unless Jay Leno wants to do it, too. <laughs> you still using that? Because I could have it. Okay. All right. <laughs> You're having a good time sticking it to NBC, aren't you? No, no, no. I'm just here having a good time. They That's all. They, I... de they deserve it. But 
I will say this. Yes. I think I should plug all my stuff now in case they just take you off the air halfway <laughs> through this. Done. What are you going to do? <laughs> I, I'll find something to do, I'm sure. Really? Yeah. I, I, OK. Yeah. No, I'm really worried about it, because I saw the letter and I thought it was great and yeah. I feel, feel for you and I just think, yeah. you know, you've been treated badly, but... What I don't, what you've got no discernible. I'm not being funny. This is this sure, is the greatest course, respect. Yes, yeah. You've got no discernible skill. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Gervais is funny too. Uh, on uh, on Letterman tonight, Ricky Gervais uh, uh, said uh, he said our good friend Ricky Gervais will be hosting the Golden Globes if Jay lets him. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Letterman said. That's Letterman tonight. Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. <clears throat> now, by the way, why uh, Conan's numbers went down because of Leno, which is what Ben said, is because Leno's numbers were so bad that the news programs that followed him were also had bad ratings, which led to bad ratings for Conan because it all trickles down I in television that way. So Conan, now that, that said, I mean, I, I suspect that in the equal sum game at this point, Leno would do better than Conan. I mean, yeah, because he's going to get his old audience back, people were used to him, etc. Yeah. So I get the NBC's decision on that in that term.